In every sport, once in a while, a new generation comes along and changes everything. In darts, two names have stood out from a very young age, Bo Greaves and Luke Littler. Different paths, different styles, but the same extraordinary talent. In this video, we will analyze position, stance, grip, front camera, throwing action and speed. Let's discover the secrets of Bo and Luke throw. Greaves and Littler position themselves almost exactly in the center of the throwing line, although Luke stands slightly more to the right. Both use a closed stance with the foot parallel to the throwing line, a stance also used by two other champions such as Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen. If we draw a line from the eyes to the heel, we can see how the alignment is almost perfect. Let's move on to analyzing the stance. Overall, they are not that different. Personally, I find Bo's movement much more elegant and smooth, while Littler's has a bit more power with the forearm very tense. That said, in both cases the technique comes very close to perfection. The elbow position is almost identical in both players and consequently so is the shoulder position. We can say that in terms of position and stance they are quite similar. Let's talk about the grip now, because here the two players make very different choices. Bo uses a fairly simple three-finger grip, her thumb and index finger hold the barrel at the rear, just before the stem, while her middle finger rests at the start of the tip as a stabilizer. Luke, on the other hand, holds the dart with four fingers. The thumb and index finger grip the dart at the end of the barrel, practically on the stem. The middle finger supports the front, and finally the tip rests on his ring finger. Grieva's grip is certainly more common, but both are valid choices. This screen shows who has hit the most 180s in 2025. Littler and Greaves are first and second, and this is also thanks to their excellent grouping. Greaves achieves strong grouping through understacking. Once the first dart is placed with the tail high, she tries to slot the others underneath it. As for Littler, well, what can we say? Once the first dart goes into the treble 20, it's often a 180. His ability to replicate the throwing motion is incredible, perhaps the best grouping on the circuit. One thing they have in common is the use of very long dart tips around 45 to 50 millimeters, but by now this is nothing new. Many players are moving in this direction. Let's move to the front cam. First, we can see that both are right eye dominant. The elbow position is very solid for both. Greaves even exceeds 90 degrees with the elbow slightly inward, while Littler is exactly at 90 degrees. Next, we can notice the hand position after the pullback. Bose is at mouth height, while Luke's is slightly below the mouth because he bends the wrist a lot and also rotates it slightly. Once the dart is released, both flick the wrist, but Greaves does it significantly more. This will be even clearer from the side view later. Another interesting point. During the pullback, both players' elbows remain completely still, an excellent sign of consistency. Quick pause here. If you love darts and stats, head over to Dartslytics. You can check out the full statistical rankings, pick any year you want, explore detailed player profiles, and even compare players side by side. If you want to dive in, the link is also in the description. Let's move on to analyzing the throwing action of the two players. We're talking about two players with very fluid throwing actions, and at first glance they might not seem that different. Breaking the throw down into set, pull back, and release phases may feel a bit forced, but it's clearly just an indicative way to analyze the motion. Let's take a closer look. During the loading phase, we can see a difference in the forearm. Littler's is very tense, with his wrist pushed forward, which drives that movement. Greaves, on the other hand, has a less tense forearm, also thanks to her wrist position. It's just a difference in style. Both techniques are perfectly valid. Now, let's look at the set and pullback phase. Greaves keeps her pullback short, which isn't a bad thing, because a longer pullback gives more room for error. She stops with the flight just in front of her mouth, keeping her wrist straight. Littler, on the other hand, pulls back further and stops under the mouth with a clear bend in the wrist. You can really see the difference in their styles here. Finally, let's look at the release. Both of them extend their arms well, but as we mentioned earlier, notice how much Greaves flicks her wrist, completely bent at the end of the movement. If I had to describe the two styles with a single word, the movement of Luke feels truly explosive. While for Bo, the right word can only be smooth. Thinking of other players that give me the same feeling, Van Gerwen in his prime gave me that same sense of raw power as Littler, whereas Van Barneveld gives me that same smooth, effortless throw that I also see in Greaves. Speaking of speed, 
I like to include it in the analysis because, in my opinion, watching a match between two fast players is much more entertaining than watching two slow ones. It takes about 5 seconds for Greaves and 4 for Littler, so Bo is perfectly within the average, while Luke can be defined as a fast thrower. Now, let's take a look at the main strengths of these two great players. When it comes to Greaves, her biggest strength is definitely the release. Look at how smooth and effortless the release motion is. It's also interesting to notice how little the elbow rise, this is a clear sign of a high quality release. Now let's move on to Littler. From a purely technical point of view, his throw doesn't have one single visually striking element. For me, his real strength is his extraordinary muscle memory, which allows him to reproduce the exact same movement every time. This is why he has an almost unbelievable ability to hit 180s. Muscle memory can be trained, but reaching this level requires a special kind of talent. Both Bo and Luke have shown their talent from a very young age. Here, we even have a video of Littler already demonstrating a natural aptitude for darts, and his name had been circulating for several years before he entered the PDC. Greaves, in fact, was once referred to in a BBC feature as the likely first female millionaire in darts. I had less problems with uh, Jamie Cameron the other day. <laughs> if you keep playing this well, you can join the men's. Huh? It's played a lot of men before I actually played a woman, because not, not many women even play in league. Living with that kind of pressure can't be easy, yet both have managed to meet expectations, something far from guaranteed. Just think of Leighton Bennett, for example. They took very different paths. Littler jumped into the PDC as soon as he could, full of confidence, showing off all his skills. Greaves, on the other hand, took a more cautious approach. She played extensively in the WDF circuit, winning three world titles, and dominated the PDC Women's Series. It's only next year that we'll see her regularly in the PDC. In a way, they were pioneers. Nowadays, there are many academies developing young talents, so we'll surely hear the phrases, the new Bo Greaves or the new Luke Littler more and more. Players like Mitchell Laurie show that this next generation is already coming through. They've paved the way for the next generation of dart stars, and with such incredible young talent rising, the future of darts has never looked brighter. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below and tell me which comparison you want to see next. And if you've got a bit more time, check out these two videos. They might just be your next favorite.